Great day guys, I made this video separately for you to understand how to add video clip on TV screen. Let's go! How to assign video clip on TV screen Watch, let's get started. Great day guys, I'm Maxis. So this is the TV model that I made in the last video. And if you are new to this channel, click that button and be updated. Again, I'll demo how to assign video clip on TV screen. This is the TV that I made in the last video. And if you see it there, I mean different materials, such as shiny materials for the head and metallic materials for each tent. So we did in our previous video, all the TV parts already have materials. And also we learned how to use the boolean tools for the holes on every part of our TV head. Let's go to edit mode and turn this TV on by replacing materials on screen. Go to material slot. Click the plus sign to create new material. I manage and organize my materials by giving their names. On our TV screen, I named it Screen Movie. Naming your materials will help you to organize and manage it for you to easy to remember and search it when you need it. And that's the way I manage my stuff, especially here in the office. Make it as a habit, and I swear that it works. Now click the face of the screen. Assign it by clicking Assign button to separate it from that black shiny material. Now go to Surface and click Emission. As you can see to my previous video, Emission Shader makes your object glow. You could watch it through my 12 basic tutorial series. And that's the first season of my videos. Try to visit my videos, and you could learn a lot. Next is go to color, and change it into image texture. And it turned into black. That means there's no video or image that assigned yet. So go to folder and find the video you want to display. Just wait for a second. And perfect. Now we have the TV show, and that's our channel. Please hit subscribe now. And thank you, that's my best birthday gift ever. And as my payback to you, I have a lot of videos are coming. So stay tuned and be updated weekly. Now let's make this display move and work by typing inside a frame. Type 250 or depending on your video length. And don't forget to click Auto Refresh. Good, everything looks fine. Now let's check other part of the video if it is working. And yeah, it works great. Our rice cooker ad is working and sexy. And stay tuned for that, cause that is one of the next videos that are coming. Let's go to environment and make it totally dark to highlight this screen. Turn that world icon into totally black. Just like that. I love the darkness, baby. I think this screen is too dark. Let's add its strength. Just like that. Now it's time to play with Bloom. Click the camera icon, scroll down, and click the Bloom. As you can see in the Bloom settings, you can see their threshold. Knee, Radius, Color, Intensity, and Clam. And because of the Bloom option settings, you can play it as much as you like. Usually, I just let that default settings, except for Radius, Color, and Intensity. But in this case, our subject is a T3, so let's play what we could do here. 
And that's the power of blue. It makes your 3D world more realistic. How beautiful is it? Let's get keep with experimenting on it. I love playing with bloom settings. It's so handy and so easy. And how about you? Try to experiment with it until you're good. I think I want it. Looks good. That's what I wanted. Now let there be light. My ready made light. FaceTime let's add the light that I already made to see how it looks like. Pretty damn good. Mm, I think lights are good enough. Let's fix some development about shadows and ambient later. Cause for now, let's focus on the TV screen settings and make sure that we can see the text clearly. We're almost done and everything works pretty well. Now let's check every settings of our masterpiece to make it more beautiful. Be sure to double check and you didn't miss something. I think everything's done well, so let's all set the video format. Check this out. Check for resolution, frames, file location, and file format. Be sure to take note for that list of settings. That would be the standards of our video format. 24 frames per second or higher makes your video smoother. And now it's render time. Go to render, click render animation or control F12. Cause this is a video and we want to play the TV display. The settings are done well. Now let's watch TV. That's all guys, thanks for watching our video. Lots of videos are coming. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe to our channel. God bless and see you in the next video.